Greetings everyone. Today we will do question number 1 of exercise 3.2 and the question is form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solutions graphically. So the first part of first question is 10 student of class 10th took part in mathematics quiz. If number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys Find the number of boys and the girls who took part in the quiz. So, let the number of boys be X and the number of girls be Y. Now, according to question. See, 10 students of class 10 are participating. Means, total number of boys and girls is 10. So, first equation will become x plus y is equal to 10. And in second situation it is given, if the number of girls, that is y, if the number of girls is 4 more than number of boys, and number of boys is x. So, number of girls is 4 more than the number of boys, find the number of boys and girls. And now we need to find their solution graphically so graphically means we need to draw their graph so first of all we will make the table we will find their solution so here i can take if x is 0 then y is 10 if x is 4 then y is 6 because their total number is 10 and if x is 5 then y is also 5. Okay. In the same way we can make table for this. X, Y. Now if I put the value of X 0. Then Y will become 4. If I put the value of X as 1. Then Y will become 5. And if I put the value of X as 2. Then Y will become 6. Okay. So, this is a table and using this table we can draw their graph. Okay. And graph you can draw in the same way as we have drawn in, uh, in exercise 3.1. In 3.1 also we have drawn the graphs and here also we need to draw their graph. So, in short I am telling you how to draw x, x dash, y, y dash, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Now, when x is 0, y is 10. Okay. So, let's take another value. Suppose if x is, because we have taken the sh, up to the value 6. So, 6 and 4 we have taken or we can take 6 plus 4, 5 plus. Suppose if x is so, we can take x as 6. Okay, take x as 6, then y will become 4. x is 6, then y will become 4. So, this is the point. When x is 4, y is 6. So, this is the point. And when x is 5, y is also 5. So, this is 5, comma 5. This is 6,4 and this is 4,6. So we can join these two, these three points. In the same way, let's draw this. When x is 0, y is 4, this is the point. When x is 1, y is 5. When x is 2, y is 6. So here we will join these points. Okay, this is the line. Now you can see these two lines are intersecting at this point. 
So this point will be the solution of this question. Okay. We can find solution using this way. Okay. If you will draw this on the graph then you will get the exact value. Fine. Now. Second. And I think the solution will be x3 and y7. Now, in the same way, we will do part number 2. 5 pencils and 7 pen together cost rupees 50, whereas 7 pencils and 5 pens together cost rupees 46. Find the cost of 1 pencil and 1 pen. So, we will consider that cost of 1 pen. Pencil B rupees X and cost of one pen B rupees Y. Now, according to version, five pencil means five X, seven pens means seven Y together make cost rupees fifty. And in second situation, seven pencils and five pens, their total cost is forty six. So, these are the two equations and in the same way you can draw the table. You can find the solution. Any three solution you can find for these two equations and then you can draw the graph like we have drawn in part number one. So, you can do this question yourself. Okay, try to do yourself. If, uh, if you find any problem then write in the comment section. Okay. So, this is the question number 1 of exercise 3.2. I hope you all have understood. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.